The final game's happening right now, ladies and gentlemen. The Beer Keggers visiting the Bee Wolves, who have one game up on the Bee Wolves in the championship game. The final, the fantastic, the wonderful game that the Beer Keggers, the season that they've had, has just been glorious. They have undefeated. Doesn't mean it can't end here. And game number two at the Bee Wolves, the very final championship game uh, if they win. Uh, Bojack Woodsman is the first to try to hit the fish out there. And he heads that way, goes into first base, a single for Woodsman, the first pitch of the game. Deviant, what's going on, man? Deviant coming in for the final series. Mariana Beer will be the second at the bat. She hits that one. That's a smoker, guys. Look at that. That's, oh, it gets caught. No, at the wall. Beer's out. Number one. Bojack makes it back. I thought that was going out of here. That was close. Number 74, the left field. All right, so here with one out, Big Slick comes up. Smashes that one out to center. So uh, Big Slick's on first. Mariana makes it to second. The birthday boy, big uh, Kung Fu Beer, the silver, uh, the silver bomber who hasn't been really lately. Uh, he'll be out, one out. Smashes that to third, out, number two. Bojack makes it back just in time. So uh, here's Old Modern Hickey. There's something weird in this stadium. The ball does not seem to travel as far, maybe because it looks smaller, I'm not sure. But two outs for Modern. He sends that down the line, puts him on first. The first run is headed in now. And sliding in, what? I don't even know what the heck happened there. As Modder slides in, the ball was even in the hand of the second baseman. I don't know what the fuck is going on there. The beer keggers put one on the board. The Bee Wolves have a chance now, uh, their first at bat, to try to make things uh, Number two, even here. Exteris comes up first, and Jose Stu is the pitcher that you all know coming up first. Or I guess he's already out there, right? So he's gonna send a curveball next to the shortstop. Uh, he sends the first two foul ball, two strikes now on him. Jose Stu uh, gets the call from Kapawi, and that one gets Kapowed foul as well. Well, two strikes, no balls. That one also goes foul. You just can't clobber him in the right direction, which is fine. We'll take foul balls all day. He gets a piece of that one, goes out to left field, big slick, hauls that one in, out number one. Gina Torrens is rattled, no power, and Big Stu is gonna send this one in. Big Stu, big slick, see what I do there? Call everybody big. You guys are big players. Uh, that one goes sky high. The Torrens hits that one out, big slick pulls that one back in, out number two. Now as Bertha Banks, number 16, the third base. 400 average, now comes in next, facing Stu, and hitting that one into the stands, foul ball, strike number one, two-way, the pitch, the strike number two. Watch as it goes by, uh, let's see here, let's go ahead and send in the heater. Give him the heater, Stu! All right, so that one goes down the line. Big Slick runs for the third catch of this inning, the third out, and that's it. No run scored for the B-Wolves. Only one for the beer carriers at the top of the first. Uh, the pitcher, Jose Stu, as we just were talking about, he's up first to bat, and Dirty Kurt will be following him next. Now batting number I know. three. I couldn't go by the amount of outs. 25 outs remaining. <laughs> All right, so uh, here's Stu. Hits that one, almost knocks out the pitcher. He makes it to first base safely. Runner on, no outs. And Dirty Kurt filling on fire. Four homers, 15 RBIs on the postseason. Smashes that one. That looks pretty good, but I called the last one. That does go out. That's a homer for Dirty Kurt. Hey, guys. Smashes that one, 425, 28 feet. Pulls him and Jose Stu in for two runs 
as everybody's celebrating at the plate. Now Clipper, who's doing the little nose tingle thing, he's going to come up with 500 average, one homer himself, eight RBIs, no outs, three to zero. That's the first one coming high. He almost swung and he let it go. He hits that one to first base on the inside of his bat. That's out number one as Kapawi somehow has a 629 average and 12 RBIs comes up next. Over the plate, strike number one for Kapawi. Smashes that one out the center. The center fielder gets to it just in time. Out number two. No fall of Kapawi. That was a good hit. Bojack Woodsman with two outs who has a single already on the day. Oh, no, 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 no. He hits that one way too high. That's a floater. Center pulls that in. Out number three. Yes, please, sell that wood. Uh, I, That was in there where I built all the stuff, and I chopped it up. I spent an hour filling up that dump truck, and I didn't get a chance to uh, sell that wood. So please, sell that wood. Now batting number Speaking of selling wood, Buster field. Biggs has no homers, so he's not going to be selling much wood right now. Uh, but he will be receiving from Stu a strike courtesy of the swing that he didn't get any of that ball from. That goes foul. That's two strikes now uh, for Biggs. As Stu's trying to select a curveball, Sidewinder keeps telling him no. Inside. He sends that in on the inside. So Sidewinder is probably right there. Uh, that one, he's mouth open, slobber coming out. Stu's confident. Billy LeBoink. Follows up with the one homer, five RBIs, 400 average postseason. Jose Stu, careful, sends the first fork ball in. That goes ball, though. That's out, so that's ball one, one out. That one comes in uh, off the inside of his bat. Mariana fires it off the first out, number two. Now back, number 11, the first base. So, Ruby Green. Has a decent amount of power and contact. So Stu has to be careful with his pitch selection. Sidewinder aware, sends the signal. And that one uh, is a swing and a foul. Second pitch uh, on the outside edge of the bat. That also goes foul ball. Uh, she picks that one up, sends it foul into the stands. Uh, so far, no balls, two strikes, two outs. That goes just past Stu. Uh, out to Reliable, fires it off the second. Kung Fu's there to pick it up. Holds the runner on first. One runner on now with two away. Johnson Swanson, the catcher. Three RBIs, 3-3-3 three, three, three average with no homers. Final game, or the uh, the championship game, second game number two, that should be. So that goes to Nail Clipper, fires it the first for out number three. Three to zero is the score as the B-Wolves and the bottom of the second with no run scored. Mariana Beer will be up first, who's 0 for 1 today so far. Her brother-in-law, Brandon Big Slick Balls, will be up second. Now batting, number 21. 25 average, a homer, base. almost a homer at her first at bat, 17 RBIs. Here's Beer. Punches right over shortstop. Beer goes to first, now to second. Doesn't have the wheels to make it to third. She holds up there. That's a double for Beer. Her husband comes, or no, her brother-in-law now comes up. Who's jacked. 784, two homers, whole bunch of RBIs. I missed the number. That, uh, oh, sliding. Uh-oh. So Big Slick has to go back to first. As Beer makes it to third in scoring position, here's Kung Fu Beer, 0 for 1. Two homers, 29 RBIs in the postseason. Just past first, who picks it up out of the air. He goes back to the dugout. Reliable comes up. 737 average like a Boeing airplane. One out. He uh, waits for that one to finally reach the plate. He takes a swing, it goes foul. That's on the inside, that's ball. One and one, one out. Pushes him off the plate for ball number two. Two runners on. That's a grounder, just past short. So that is a, uh, oh, what are we doing? Big Slick needs to turn around and go back. 
Uh, he slides in head first, so he's safe back at second. Reliable gets an RBI Number single. Three. And now here's Stuback, who's one for one today. One out, two runners on it. Stu takes a uh, leaping swing, hits that one foul. That comes in high, ball number one. That one he likes, so he hits that one. So Stu goes to first, fills the bases. The ball comes in home, holding the runners at third, second, and first. Bases loaded for Gertie Kurt, who has a homer at his last at bat. So they're changing pitchers now. It looks like uh, Gertie Kurt gets an RBI there. He goes to first. Five to zero is the score now as bases remain loaded for Nell Clipper Flipper with one out. He's 0 for one today. He does have a homer, eight RBIs, but a lower average. I'm not sure what that was. This is gonna hit him in the fists or something. That goes to short. That's out number two. Everybody makes it back in the nick of time. So Kapowie with bases loaded, two outs. 0 for one on the day passes that one uh the court stop dives for it doesn't quite get to it sidewinder somehow makes it the first in time uh, safe at first rbi for kapawi back to the top of the order woodsman two outs bases loaded smashes that one out to center woodsman's on first rbi himself whoever was running home finally got there and here's Beer, who's one for two with a double so far. He does have a homer, 17 RBIs, two outs, bases loaded. Just past third, RBI for Beer. Bases remain loaded, eight to zero is the score. So if everybody advancing one base at a time, keeps the bases loaded. Two for two with two singles, big slicks up a two way. That's too high, it looked good, but too high. He likes that one, goes to third. Uh, that's gonna be a, looks like a double. A pop, no, Mariana slides it. Oh, 10 to zero as everybody slides into their bases. So now you only have two runners on, two outs. KFB is up. Who's not gotten on base yet. Oh, look at that son of a bitch. That's gonna slide in. Is that out of here? Damn right it is. Birthday boy finally pulls off a homer 360 feet by hitting it straight off the moon. Kung Fu Beer sets it his third home run of the postseason, 13 to zero now. And now here's Reliable gonna follow up 13 to zero, two outs. Right to short, she can't pick it up and he'll get him out at first. Out number three following the uh, birthday boys home run. It's just amazing that you can do that on your birthday stream. That's great. Magic Moore, first at bat for the B-Wolves, trailing by 13. Now batting, number 27. Two homers himself, five RBIs, 318 average. Who's gonna give him the heater and see what happens? It goes straight backwards. Great backwards, strike number one. That's gonna be a little low. Uh, that comes in as uh, ball number one. Inside. On the inside, two balls, one strike. Low. I don't know why that's going so low. That's three balls. That, what? That walks him, Stu's first walk of the postseason. This guy ain't batting. Rushmore is all jacked up, so they're gonna swap him out with the home run crusher, Steve Monstour, Mr. Wide-Eyed, who can see the ball before it leaves Stu's mitt. And he's gonna send the first one, curveball in. I don't even know why Nell Clipper Flipper bothered go through the air, risking injury. Doesn't even come close to it. Handily Dexter is 0 for 1 today. 214, zero homers, one RBI. Follows up. Two runners on, no outs. That goes to Beer. He can't quite get to it, just out of her reach. The so one run comes in. They hold on to it on second. Beer does, so they don't advance to third base. Gina Torrens, a little bit on the rattled side. No power. Two runners on, no outs. Runners on first and second. 
That goes to third. Uh, let's see. What, what in the hell am I doing? There's nobody there to cover third base. Spears got his head up his butt over at short. Like, dirty, or nail clipper can't throw it to third. Bases are now loaded, no outs. The Stu fires the first one in, strike number one. All right. So we'll go ahead and just fire it off the first. Run comes in, bases remain loaded, now one away. Buster Biggs, 0 for 1. One RBI, 125 average with no homers. He does have a decent amount of power though, so Stu, gotta be careful. First one goes foul. Sidewinder selects the next pitch. That goes right to Stu, fires it to first. Uh, out number two, the runners hold on their pads. Billy LaPointe right will be next. So now we got two away. We can go to first as a force out if we need to. Other runners are free to advance. Oh my goodness, he smashes that one. That's gone. Out a doubt. That jackass hits a home run and puts three on the board. 334 feet, LeBlanc's second home run of the postseason. Season. Eighth RBI of the playoffs. Now batting number 11, the first baseman. Oh, here we got Ruby Green, who's going to follow up that. Uh, it's, the lead has now, uh, I guess it's imploded, <laughs> down to a six-run lead for the beer keggers. There's two away. It's the bottom of the third. Stu fires this in to Green, who lets that go. Strike number one. Okay, Beard jumps for it, doesn't even come close. Dirty Kurt picks it up, fires the first, but it's not going to get there in time. Safe at first. Now Johnson Number Swanson, 18. 0 for 1, 318, 3 RBIs in the postseason. He's uh, feeling okay. He's uh, up next with the runner on first. Strike. Swings at that one, gets nothing. Strike number one. He does get a piece of that. That goes skyrocketing, and that's in the corner. Inside, Reliable tries to pick it up, can't quite get there. But that's going to second. A runner comes in. Now a seven point game. Magic Moore trying to keep the dream alive here with two homers, five RBIs. Uh, he's filling, uh, well, he doesn't have a whole lot of contact. You can see there the mojo for Stu is feeling a little rattled, so he may get uh, subbed here pretty soon. He's starting to fall apart. He's still hanging in there, though. So that one goes out to Hank Eyes. Can't pick it up. Oh, what the hell? Why aren't you throwing it? Holding the fire to first. The runner comes in. Narrowing the lead down to six now, runs as uh, wide-eyed uh, Monster 500 average comes in now to try to nail this one out again. Wisman does a, a shoulder roll there. Uh, it's foul, so I'm not sure <laughs> why he did it. However, he wrist injury there. He got two away, a runner on first. Uh, that one gets popped straight up. Kapowie's looking for it behind the plate. Holds it in out number three. And now uh, there's some changes happening. I'm looking at uh, the stream here. What's up, Purple Basket? Who's coming on in? Seeing how long we've been streaming. Two hours, 15 minutes. Stu needs to go. Yep. Uh, Stu's doing okay, though, just because, you know, there's a homer on him. Now batting number three. This pitch. is the final game. So here's Stu at bat first. That's the first one going on the outside for ball number one. He does like that one. Heads that to sec second dives. Listen, there's nothing you can do about that. That's a hell of a catch by the second baseman. Fires the first just a moment before Stu gets there. That's not his fault. It's good, good hit. Uh, good dig there as Dirty Kurt lets the first one go on the outside for ball number one. He hits that grounder out the center. He's on first, one away. Well, now well, Clipper's 0 for 2 today. He does have a homer, eight RBIs, 472 average. So he's up with uh, Dirty Kurtz on first. That's a breaking ball that got hit. So now Clipper and Dirty Kurtz, the two slowest runners besides Kapowie. So Dirty Kurt comes in. Now Clipper decides to turn around and head back to second. It's a double RBI for Clipper. 
putting another run on the board for the uh, Beard Kaggers as Kapawi, the fan club is starting to go crazy. Kapawi needs to start doing something here. And that's how it's done. Kapawi sends it out to center. Kapawi on first. Now Clipper Flipper goes to third in scoring position. Now Woodsman, one, three for two today, all, both singles and an RBI. There's one away. Woodsman, uh, I don't know, corkscrews that behind him, foul ball. That's off the inside of his bat. Uh, the shortstop dives for it, doesn't come close. Woodsman on first, Kapawi goes to second. And a run Nobody, scored uh, by Nell Clipper Flipper. Here's Mariana Beer, two for three today. Uh, they're changing out pitchers here with one away. That one's not even close. Anywhere in the play, playing field. Oh, why did she hit that? She swung too high. Pips that one behind her. That's over the plate. Strike number two. One and two. Inside. That's going to be on the inside, uh, making the count two up. That's too low, full count for Mariana. She gets a piece of that, uh, that's gonna drop in. It's sliding catch by the right fielder and a double play there as everybody took off running. Uh, that miraculous catch out by right puts Beer away and then the double play from the tag ups, Kapali couldn't get back to second. Two runs scored for the Beer Keggers, however, Top of the fourth, now batting, still a healthy two, lead as short. Dexteris comes back up. One for two today. Uh, we are going to uh, substitute. Dude, we're gonna thank him so much for the game that he gave. Uh, he has no power, no contact right now. So it's time. We're gonna have to go for some power here. We're gonna put in Dirt. Jacinda Dirt's coming in. She usually she does the last couple innings, the cleanup. Uh, she has an opportunity now to come in at the bottom of the fourth and put this game away and winning that trophy for the beer keggers. So this person here, Dexteris, is full of power, contact, and speed. Definitely a threat. Dirt sends the first one in. Fastball goes out. The beer picks it up, fires at the first. Out number one. One up, one down so far. Gina Torrens now comes in. <laughs> yeah, we can smack Arlo. Uh, all right, so Dirt is going to be facing Torrens here, who has lost all of her powers, feeling rattled. So she's going to fire the first one in fast, but it's low. Ball number one. She does get a piece of that one, sends it out in the gap. Dirty Kurtz running for it, can't quite get to it. Monitor's going to go ahead and pick it up. Fire it to second. Computer knows I'm sending it to second, so Torrens goes to third. Scoring position now as Bertha Banks, 0 for 2 today, no homers, 1 RBI, a 200 and something average. Now comes up for the B Wolves. Again, the runner on third in scoring position. Third sends that one on the inside. Ball number one. That gets tipped foul. Now, one and one, one out. That's too high. Strike number one. I mean, that's ball number two. That's strike number two, so two up, one out. Third picks just the right pitch he hopes. I wonder likes that one, striking her out. Hangs her head in shame. Out number two, Buster Biggs. 0 for two today so far with an RBI on the season, or on the postseason. Sends that first one flying high out of the, out of the stadium, really, for a foul ball and strike number one. That one goes straight up in the air. Dirty Kurt is calling for it. He's standing there waiting for it to return to earth. Out number three. The Baywolves score nothing with all of that. Uh, I thought it was going to be crazy, but it turned out the defense kicked in. Beer keggers hold them with no runs scored. Top of the fifth, big slick. Brandon Balls, three for three today, comes up first. Now batting number 74, the left field. All right, so here's the... Uh, First pitch for balls from this pitcher. That one's a strike. Uh, he set the controller down. I wasn't going to swing at it anyways. That one goes right over his head, almost knocks his hat off as Big Slick makes it the first. A single for him. Now batting number 71. The birthday boy with the homer. 
is uh, up now. No outs. His brother's on first. He smashes that over third base's head who can't quite pull it in. Do the speed and big slick slides in the second just in the nick of time. He's safe there. That's a base hit for Beer. Reliable comes up. No outs. Two runners on. That's that first curveball swing in, but it's strike at the last second. Oh, no, 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 no. Go backwards, go backwards, unless they drop it again. So well, everybody's back on base. Reliable's out. Pop up to right. Jacinda Durd, who has, uh, well, she has an RBI in the season. I don't know why she has no average. Oh, because she got out. He's punching that one. That's going deep out in the pocket inside the wall. But Durd goes to second, and we have a potential of two RBIs for Durd, and we do. 17 to seven, as that's a double for her and uh, two RBIs, double with two. Three for three of the homer, Gertie Kurt, one out. Let's that first one go on the outside high, ball number one. That one he likes, that goes out to left, so Gerd heads back to second. Now two away, top of the fifth, 17 to seven is the score in favor of the beer keggers. Now Clipper Flipper, one for three today. Typical for Nail Clipper. Hits that one down the line, but it goes out foul ball. Strike number one. Pushes him off the plate for ball number one. That's too high. That's going to be out number three. And uh, that is what it is. So with two runs for the beer carriers at the top of the fifth, there's a 10-point lead they have as the B-Wolves, bottom of the fifth, are sending Billy LeBoink, who has a homer, up first. Grab some pine, yeah. Now batting, uh, number 12, the right fielder. All right, so LeBoink has not faced her yet in the postseason. And that time she does, or he does, sends it to the nail clipper, fires at the first, out number one. Now batting, Ruby number Green, 11, uh, two for two, baseball. both singles. With one away, facing Dirt. First baseman. Sends it over to first base. Foul ball. Second pitch coming up. Uh, it's really fast, and that turns into a foul ball. Strike number two with one away. Uh, Dirt picks that up on the mound. It's out number two. Now batting, number eight, As I hit the microphone, trying to adjust my headphone. Pretty efficient, 17 runs on 22 hits. I would say so. All right. So here we got two away now, and Johnson Swanson, uh, who's a badass, facing Dirt, string uh, swings and misses. Everything he has into that one comes up short, twice in a row. But Dirt sends the third pitch and gets a piece of it. Everybody's running for it. Dirt fires the first just in the nick of time, out number three. B Wolves had three up, three down, no run scored. The beer keggers at the top of six. Sidewinder Kapow is your first at bat. The fan club starts now. Now batting number 13. Now he's having a much better game here at two for three. Uh, they're going to change out pitchers here to put in some blonde dude. Kapow, he smashed that shortstop. She's out at first. And here's Woodsman, who's gonna follow that. Three for four today. With one out. Woodsman uh, almost knocks his block off, sends it out to center. He's on first. Mariana Beer will follow. He's two for four today, a double and a single. And then, of course, two outs. Uh, she has a homer also today. He smashes that down the line, but it's just outside foul ball. Strike number one. Goes the short. This is a double play coming right here. Three outs. Three up, three down. Or was that four up? Yeah, it had to have been four. No, three up, three down because it was a double play. So the beer keggers, nothing. Top of the sixth. The B Wolves are going to send Magic Moore out there, uh, who's one for one today at the base hit. Or no, do you have a walk? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Yeah, he had a walk. His last at bat, but now he's facing Dirt. That goes to Kung Fu short. He fires first, out number one. 
Mac Avery is probably not hitting. Look at that. Nope. They're like, I don't trust this guy, but Dern sees the power level this dude has, so she's gonna fire in a fastball. That goes to Beer. He picks it up a short, fires it, hopefully it makes it. It does. Out number two happens. And Dexteris, one for three today. No homers, two RBIs facing Dirt, but he does hit him out of the park. So she's really got to be careful here. Uh, Bojack picks that up, fires it to Dirt right there on first. That's out number three. And they're going to switch their players back. No run scored top of the, or bottom of the sixth at all for anybody in the sixth. Beer Keggers nor the B-Wolves. Big slick, Brandon Balls used four for four today. Now he's jacked. He's up first. 800 average, two homers, 24 RBIs in the postseason alone. Takes the first pitch, the top of the seventh for the beer catchers. Both coming in the inside off the belt buckle. That's on the corner top of the plate. Strike number one. He hits that one foul. Two strikes. That's on the inside. Full count for balls. That's down the line. That's a nice, well-placed hit just on the inside of the line. That's a double for balls if he makes it, sliding at second. Safe. Now batting, number 71. Super Mega Baseball 3 is out. I have not had a chance to customize it yet, so we're kind of holding off on that. Plus, we want to finish the season here of uh, Super Mega Baseball 2. Beer hits that out to left field. He's on first. Balls goes to third, hangs out there. And now with Balls waiting to score, hopefully, we got uh, Reliable. Let's that one go over the plate. Strike number one, no outs. It's a little high, I thought it was gonna drop in, but it stays ball. That's on the outside, ball number two, two and one. Reliable likes that one. That's a, he smashes that one. That's out, and Kung Fu <laughs> runs all the way back to first from second. That was at the wall, ladies and gentlemen. So I could have tagged up uh, Big Slick, but that would have confused Beer. So uh, he stays there. Here's Jacinda Durd back, uh, her second at bat with one away. That's also a floater. Uh, that, well, so Jacinda hits it over, and now Jacinda holds up on second. Somebody's going home. Is, uh, the silver liner slides in at home for another score. So that's two RBIs for Jacinda Dirt with a double herself, one away. Oh no, that's get, oh, it goes over the first baseman's head. So Dirty Kurt goes towards second, slides in, and Dirt comes in, taps the plate home. Now Clipper Flipper. One for four, so not that great. He's up next. You got Cooper out there pitching. Cooper's not doing that great. If you see all of her stats, they don't have much left. That goes over short, who dives for jumps in the air for it, pulling it in. And uh, Dirty Kurt makes it back to second, just in the nick of time, safe. Two outs, Kapowie's back up with two away. Kapowie Kapow's that one. That's going fouls. It hits the wall up there. Powie hits that one foul as well. Two strikes, two outs. That's a bouncer just in front of the pitcher. So Kapowie goes to first. Oh no, big, er, dirty curd heads home and is like 20 minutes late to the party. He's out at home plate. Three runs for the beer keggers top of the seventh. The seventh inning stretch, stretch happens right now. The B-Wolves. Now Bottom of the seventh, Holmes is the back up. Base. No power, but two for three today with a triple. So for somebody who has no power, that triple is pretty damn good. Here's the first pitch from Dirt. Wow. Smashes that one, powerless, right down first, uh, but it goes foul. That goes two first. Woodsman is going to pick it up, and oh no, he totally misses the first base. Now oh, he Number swings two, wide two, and misses, two. puts all his weight into it and just misses first base. They're safe. An error by Woodsman. So now you got no outs. <laughs> Strike number one is that one goes foul. A uh, swinging and missing. 
for Banks here. Dirt sends the next one, and that goes foul behind. So now you have a situation where there's two strikes. That one goes to, uh, well, he, um, what, what the hell is going on here? So he dies for it, he touches it, and then he decides just to go to third base now instead he goes and picks it up. Kung Fu don't know what to do, so he runs behind and eventually picks it up. Both runners on. No outs. That goes foul. Dirt throws that fast on the inside for strike number two. He swings and misses at that. His tongue falls out of his mouth. Dirt nods, knowing that uh, she did well there. One for three home run uh, already today. LeBoink, he's following up now with one away, two runners on. He smashes that one to Beer. He fires the second, tries to fire it the first time, and barely gets it. Double play. No run scored as the defense really kicked in high gear there, considering all the errors that happened. The top of the eight, the beer keggers with, uh, what is that, a 13 point lead? Oh, Jack Woodsman, number one, now top of the order is up first. One, first What's up, TC Roberts? How you doing, bud? Uh, they're changing out pitchers now, I guess, but then they send somebody else in who sucks, thankfully. Uh, off Bojack's boots, the first one goes. Uh, ball, that one he hit too soon. That one he punches out. That's going to center. Who's going to pick that one up? He's out. Number one. Mariana, who's uh, two for five so far today. He's going to follow up with one away. Down third base, who picks that up off the ground. An inch above the ground. Out number two. So, so far, two up, two down. Big slick, five for five today. He's up now. He smashes that one, but it goes foul. That one's off his kneecaps, ball number one. That's out in the gap. That's a two base hit at least for Big Slick as he comes towards second. He's gonna hang up there. I don't know if he would have made it to third. We didn't risk it with two away. So Big Slick holds up at, at number two. And now you have a, a silver liner here. Smashing that one outside foul. Two outs. That's a bouncer just past the pitcher. Beer goes to first. Big Slick holds up at third. The audience starts getting upset now in the background as you hear the crowd roaring uh, in support of their team who are 13 points behind. That hits, oh man, a bean ball hits uh, reliable in the kneecap. So he's on first, base is loaded for Dirt with two away. Third smashes that one. That goes right to the left fielder. Out number three happens. And uh, Ruby Green will be coming up first. No run scored for the beer keggers, top of the eighth. The B-Wolves, uh, Ruby Green is two for three, 13 points behind in the championship now game, number, 11, number two. Base. So Dirt is going to pick her pitches carefully as Sidewinder offers the numbers. She settles on one, sends that first one in. Strike number one, right down the middle. Strike number two goes as Ruby stares at that one as well. Curve ball catches her over the corner of the plate, dropping the bat, bending over, taking it like a champ. Strike number one, or strikeout number one for Dirt in the bottom of the eighth. That one goes uh, foul ball. Now Clipper Flipper dives for it, but uh, just moves nothing but brick dust because he doesn't come close to it. That goes to Bojack, who last time this happened to totally missed the bag. This time he does get to it. Taps the bag. Out number two, Magic Moore. One for two today. Dirt spits out something out of her mouth. Sends that first one in. That goes foul, bouncing down the line. Second pitch comes in low. He takes a swing and hits that foul as well. Dirt got two strikes, two outs. That one goes skyrocketing 
And Reliable's looking to try to get it. It's probably out of here, and it is just inches over the wall. The first homer on third, 415 feet, his third home run, seventh RBI of the playoffs. And that was with two outs. Third's a little shame, but she should not be. Uh, she's doing a pretty good job. You can't protect every single one. And that wasn't even a fastball. That was like a changeup or something. He just nailed it. So Dirt sends the first changeup in there. Uh, Fran here is all kinds of messed up. I think she took one of the chin when she was pitching earlier. Hits it uh, bouncing to Dirt, who fires it off to first. Out number three. And now one run added for the B-Wolves. Not quite enough. 12-point lead for the Beer Keggers. Top of the ninth. Third last at bat. Dirty Kurt comes up, who's 4 for 5 today with that now massive that home run he had and I believe is the fourth right inning. Field. He's still hitting 500. He punches that one just off the tip of his bat. That bounces before left field. Therefore, he's on first. Now, now Clipper Flippers, now one for five line. today. A uh, typical uh, batting average there in any game for Nell Clipper. Down the line, goes down third. That's fair for him. He's gonna pass second. The two slowest runners are trying to make their way around the bases. Flipper stops at second. Dirty Kurt slides in home, increasing the lead by one. Now, and Sidewinder Kapawi with now Clipper Flipper on second. Three for five today. Now comes up, no outs. Uh, now Clip, our frickin' Sidewinder swings high, pops out at right. She uh, should have waited for it to come down. She instead did not wait, hit it too high. She's out number one. Woodsman does get a piece of that. And uh, he stops at first. I uh, thought now Clipper is gonna try to head home. He holds up on third, thankfully. Mariana Beer, who's uh, two for six today, a lower average for her. That's the first one coming right over the top of the plate. Strike number one with one out. Here pops that over the shortstop who uh, jumps for it. Uh, who's coming in a second? Sliding, she's That's saved. Get Barry out of now Deviant gift now a tier one sub to TC Roberts. Seven left, gifts. Four. Thank you so much Deviant and welcome TC Roberts. That goes to third. We're trying to figure out uh, where Bojack's going. He's in a pickle. And now we have a double pickle going on as Woodsman is uh, figuring out, <laughs> well, the catcher's got some uh, gas there. So uh, all confusion aside, everybody seems to be safe. Here's Beer. I think bases are loaded. It uh, looks like it. He smashes that one past short. He can't get to it. RBI for Beer. Bases remain lo loaded as Woodsman struts home, taking his time, adds another one on the board. Potter Hinky is two for five today. He's hit by a pitch in the knee, his last at bat. Almost hit again as you saw that floater coming towards him. He swung at it. That one will go in the gap. Uh, gets picked up at center. Runner makes it home again. Beers on third, reliable to first. Jacinda Dirt comes up now. A healthy lead for the beer keggers with one away, the top of the ninth. Oh, why did she hit that? He hits the inside and hits the inside of her bat. She's swinging too high again. Out number two comes as Dirty Kurt, five for six. He's gonna be up now. The last chance potentially for the beer keggers. And that's a whopper. That goes out uh, between center and right. Kurt's going to second. Now to third, a runner coming in. Kurt's safe at third. The flipper who needs to do something. Again, this is the last game of the entire season, the championship game. Flipper hits a grounder. He's never going to make that. Nope. 27-8, this final score for the Beer Eggers. The B-Wolves have some catching up to do. The bottom ninth is their last chance to do it. One for four, Dexteris comes up first. Jacinda Durge trying to close this game out. Now batting number two, the shortstop. Uh, look at that. So now Clipper has a pulled hammy, uh, pulled hamstring 
from uh, running, I, I, what, running home, I guess? So let's go ahead and give dude a break. We're going to substitute Nell Clipper Flipper. We don't need this kind of pressure on him right now. So we're going to put uh, Robert Deputy Dog to fin finish out the final inning. Uh, now that uh, <laughs> Nell Clipper has hurt his hammy, moons over my hammy at home plate somehow. Third sends the first pitch of the ninth in. That gets walloped out there. Modder can't get to it. He tries. So here's Dirty Kurt, picks it up, fires it to second. The computer knows that fired second, throws it to third, where Deputy Dog standing, thanks to the injured now Clipper Flipper taking a seat. Gina Torrens, she'll be up now with a runner on third, no outs, bottom of the ninth. Maybe you the hostess with you the, the hostess. hostess with the mostest. I got one from Moose, who just joined the stream. Thank you so much for the host. All right, so here's Mariana, fires the first. She can't do anything about the runner going home. Out number one, two outs remaining in the championship game. Super Mega Baseball, Beer Keggers, season number two. The first time they've ever been in the championship. And the final, final game of Super Mega Baseball two period. Third sends in the first two pitches, both go foul, two strikes, one out. Uh, Dirt seems to be losing stamina here. She's normally just a relief pitcher. But she's trying to hang in there. That goes to Beer, who can't quite pick it up. He does finally, throws it the first too late. The runner's on. So one away, a runner on Biggs comes up, who's rattled. So Dirt has no stamina. She's going to have to uh, get substituted for the final, the final two. Uh, Shields Mayhem, he's a starting pitcher normally. We're gonna call in on her to finish up the championship game. She looks at first, checks the runner. First pitch comes in, straight up pop infield fly. Sidewinder's calling for it at the plate. Out number two, Mayhem. The first batter up is the first out uh, for her. Two outs total, LeBoink. I think he has a homer on somebody. Uh, LeBoink comes up first to face Mayhem. And that one goes foul. Put everything he had into that and hits it foul. The second one also drops in for strike. So there's two outs, two strikes, one runner on, the bottom of the ninth, the championship game, 27 to nine, the beer keggers lead by Mayhem winds up, sends that one to Beer, who pops that out in the air. Beer with the final out of the championship. Everybody running out of the dugout. The Beer Keggers are your champions for season number two of Super Mega Baseball 2. Hell yeah. Everybody's celebrating in slow motion, and they're throwing somebody dirty Kurt into the air. Number 69, everybody's jumping in the air. Of course, Beer's not. I don't know where Nail Clipper is. Probably got ice on his foot. Somebody must have stopped and pulled an ice pack out of the back of their car. So the Super Mega Baseball 2 ends permanently with the Beer Keggers as your championships. Champions, champions in the championships. Boom. The game stats, 27 to nine is the total. When we look at the home runs, we had one. Kung Fu Beer, you all saw it here. We have one from Dirty Kurt. Who cares about them? They're losers. They get no trophy. And three pitchers on the day. Dirt did most of the heavy lifting and Mayhem finished it up. The top three of the day, the guy getting thrown in the air, Dirty Kurt. Hey guys, big slick Brandon Balls coming at number two and the birthday boy, number three on the game. The Beer Keggers, your champions. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to end it for the Super Mega Baseball 2. Uh, well, the season, the game, everything. The next time a uh, baseball game is played here on this channel 
It will be the custom Super Mega Baseball 3. 